Hey, what's up? Today we're going to talk about the Sony 24-70 f2.8 GM2. And I've been using it as my go-to travel lens and I just came back from Mexico where I paired it with a Sony ZV-E1 because it's so portable. And let me tell you, this lens has been an absolute beast for photos and videos. Uh, let's dive into it and I'll just explain to you why I think this might be the best travel lens out there. So first off, the broad 24 to 70 millimeter focal range. This is what makes this lens so versatile. At 24 millimeter, you're getting those wide grand shots, perfect for landscapes and architecture. So whether I was shooting the vibrant streets or the sweeping beaches in Mexico, this lens captured everything beautifully. Then when you zoom in into 70 millimeter, it's game on for portraits and close-ups. The reach is just enough to get tight shots without having to switch lens. Plus it's all happening with that constant f2.8 aperture, so you're getting consistent exposure throughout the entire zoom range. Now let's talk image quality. This lens is sharp, like tech sharp. Even wide open at f2.8, you're getting crisp details and that beautiful G Master bokeh. It's actually even sharper than the first version of the lens. It's perfect for when you want to isolate your subjects and blur out the background, but keep the main person in focus. Now, honestly, it makes everything look even more cinematic. And speaking of cinematic, I shot a ton of videos with this setup and the footage always comes out super clean. Even in low light situation, no need to crank the ISO too high because of that f2.8 aperture. Of course, this lens is full frame, so it's designed to get the most out of Sony's full frame cameras. Paired with the ZV-E1, it was a killer combo because it has the same sensor as the FX3. The lens E-mount also means that it's compatible with a ton of camera bodies. So you've got flexibility, whether you're using a high-end alpha series camera or something more compact like the ZV-E1. And now let's not forget about the stabilization. The built-in OSS optical steady shot is really a lifesaver, especially when you're shooting handheld on the go. In Mexico, I was constantly moving and the stabilization kept the footage smooth and steady, even without a gimbal. So you don't have to worry about shaky shots ruining the video. So in conclusion, is the Sony 24-70mm f2.8 GM2 the best travel lens for me? absolutely yes especially because even if you have the first version this one is sharper and lighter and that's a big plus for me for a lens that i'm going to travel with so it's versatile it's sharp it handles low light like a champ and it's built to work perfectly with the sony ecosystem if you're looking for a lens that can do all of that while you're on the move then this one's really hard to beat whether you're a photographer, a videographer, or like me, do a bit of both, this lens is going to deliver. So if you're planning your next trip and you want to pack light with only one lens and still capture everything in high quality with a lot of details and, you know, with the f2.8 low light ability, well, then this lens is definitely the way to go. And I definitely recommend it. Hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.